Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick little trick on playing some melody notes in octaves. Um, you may already be familiar with this little octave where if you have the open G string, <clears throat> you can find the G octave above on the D string at the 5th fret. So there's the open G, D at the 5th fret, you get that nice octave sound. And you can move that up and down those two strings. Um, might be a bit of a stretch at first, but um, if you do it more, it'll become more and more natural. What you can do is you can move up with your pointer finger. So I'm, right now I'm using my third finger on the fifth fret of the D string to get the, the G. Uh, you put your pointer finger down <clears throat> on the second fret of the G string and your pinky down on the seventh fret of the D string. That's now octave A's. So you have A on the G string with your pointer and A on your D string with your pinky. And a good um, exercise can be just to go between those two octaves that I just showed you. And you can move that um, once you have both fingers down, your pointer and your pinky, you can slide that up and down the string wherever you like, and it's always an octave. And then that same process works on the D and A string, so you have open D string, 5th fret on your A string, 2nd fret on your A, 7th on your, sorry, 2nd fret on your D, 7th on your A. You can slide that up and down. And you can do the same thing on your A and E strings. Open A, 5th on the E, 2nd <clears throat> fret on your A, 7th on your E, and slide it around. So, there you have it. It's a quick little octave trick. Um, and like I said, it may take a little bit to get your fingers to feel comfortable getting those notes, but um, I think it's a really cool sound. Um, and it's useful in a lot of places, and it's just great to um, get a hold of a couple little waypoints on the fretboard, know where an octave is at any given time, it can be really helpful. Um, and another place you can find octaves is, for example, the fifth fret on your G string and the second, or sorry, the third fret on your A string. So you have to skip the D string. Fifth fret, um, the fingers don't matter so much with this. You can you can use whatever fingers feel comfortable for you. Fifth fret on the G string is a C. And then third fret on the A string is also a C. And what I do sometimes is using the finger that's hitting the fifth fret on the low string, you can kind of bend it over a little bit and mute that middle string. So in this case, the D string. So I've got fifth fret on the G and then a muted D string um, with that same finger and then 3rd fret on the A string. And you can slide that around. And if you come down here, you end up with 2nd uh, fret on your G string is an A, and your open A string. And that likewise works starting on the D string, 5th fret, for example, 5th fret on the D string, and 3rd fret on the E string. Yeah, I'm not quite getting that. There we go. That mute. Um, you got to play around with your hand a little bit. Make sure you can get that nice, clean, muted sound. Um, and that's just another, again, another waypoint. Um, thinking about the fretboard, knowing where those octaves are. So now you've got the octave five frets above on the adjacent string, 
for example, that second on the G, seventh on the D, um, or you can let's bring that up to fifth on the G and tenth on the D. And tenth on the D is the same as third on the A string, so that's where that other octave is. So this is the same sound as this. And it's good to uh, use those to just find your way around the fretboard a little bit. So I hope you found these useful. Um, there's lots more lessons over at mandolessons.com. Uh, I put out a new lesson every Thursday. Um, there's a couple ways to donate if you find these lessons uh, useful. Uh, but that said, they'll always be free. Um, lots of fiddle tunes over there, bluegrass, um, whole beginner series, series on double stops, you name it. If there's something over there that you don't, if you're looking for something that's not over there, send me an email and I'll think about adding it to my list of lessons to make, uh, assuming that it's not copyrighted. All right, well, thank you so much and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.